All right, sorry for the interruption. Okay, the question is 4 over 3, comma, M, comma, 1. This thing is 1 and not uh, L. Okay, comma, 1, comma, N. Okay, so let's solve this now. Aha, uh -huh. that is where my confusion was. So I have that my first term is what? 4 over 3. And my second term, if I let me get my R. R is what? Let me use this 3. R is this divided by this. The fourth term, uh, the third term divided by what? The fourth term divided by the third term, or the third term divided by the second term, which is still the same thing as what? This one divided by this. N divided by what? 1. So if I cross multiply, I'm having that what? MN is equal to what? 1. 1 squared, which is 1. So MN is equal to 1. So it's a very simple question. Just that I thought that thing was L, not knowing that it was 1. Okay, so let's go to the the next question, number number four. This was number three. Number four. Okay, they said the seventh term. The seventh term of a GP. Okay, find the seventh term. Find find the seventh term of the GP. Ten. Find the seventh term of the GP 16 over 9, comma, minus 8 over 3, comma, 4, comma, dot, dot, dot. Okay, very simple. So what do we do? Solution. Solution. I'm having that the first term is 16 over 9. The common ratio is simply, you can say this divided by this, or you say this divided by this. Anyone you, you choose, okay? So I'm having uh, minus 8 over 3 divided by... 16 over 9, which is what? Minus 8 over 3 times 9 over 16. 3 here, 1. 3 here, 3. This here, 1. This here, 2. So I'm having minus 3 over 2 as the common ratio. So the seventh term, T7, is equal to what? A, R raised power 6, which is what? A is 16 over 9, then bracket R minus 3 over 2, R raised to power what? 6. So if you do that, you're having... 16 over 9 times uh, 9 times uh, just to 3 raised power 6 divided by this then you get your final your final answer okay so the next question just do minus 3 3 minus minus will go because this is an even number just press 3 raised power 6 write the answer over 2 raised power 6 then cancel out and get your results okay so number five number five said the value the value of P and Q in the geometric progression 10 comma P comma Q comma minus 5 over 4 is dash okay r a dash okay because there are two solution very simple you have that the first term is 10 and where i have number again is the fourth term so the fourth term is what a r raised power 3 which is what minus 5 over 4 so substitute 10 times r cubed is equal to what minus 5 over 4 so times cross i'm having what uh, divide so r cube is equal to what minus 5 over 4 divided by 10 over 1 so what do i have r cube is equal to minus 5 over 4 times 1 over 10 so 5 here 1 5 here 2 so r cube is equal to what uh, minus minus 1 over 8 so what do i have r cube is equal to minus 1 over 2 raised to power 3. So I'm having minus 1 over 2. So R is minus 1 over 2. So now to get your P, your P is the second term and Q is the third term. So second term, which is what? First term times R. Which is what? First term is 10 times R is what? Minus 1 over 2, which is what? Minus 5. T3 is what? Second term itself which is equal to what? This is like P. Second term times R, which is what? Minus 5 times minus 1 over 2, which is what? 5 over 2. As simple as that. Okay? 
So number six. Number six says find find the seventh term in the progression twenty seven comma eighty one comma two forty three comma dot dot dot. The seventh term. Okay, let's check if it's a, a GP or an AP. So if A is the 27, and arrow says 81 divided by 27, which is what? 3. And the same that says 2, 4, 3 divided by 81, which is 3. So it's a geometric progression. So T7 is simply A R raised to power 6, which is what? 27 times 3 raised to power 6. So do it and get your result. It's very simple. So the next one, number 7. Number seven said a GP, a GP has six, six and twenty-four as each second and fourth term, respectively. Respectively. Then find the sum of the first first four terms. Solution. Okay. So they say that um, a GP has six and twenty-four as the second and the fourth term. So let us do T four first. The fourth term is what. A R raised to power 3 and they say is equal to 24. And the second term is what? A R. And they say is equal to what? 6. So when you divide, if you divide, you have this divided by this gone. This divided by this to give you R squared is equal to 24 divided by, by 6 is a 4. So what do you have now? R squared is equal to 2 squared. So R is equal to what? 2. When these two cancel these two. So what do we have? I've got to my R to get my A. I know that A R is equal to 6. So a dot 2 is equal to 6. So A is what? 6 divided by 2. So A is what? A is 3. Since you have gotten 3, the sum of the first 4 terms. Now, your R is greater than 1. R is greater than 1. I hope you know. So the sum SN is what? A bracket R, which is greater than 1. R is what? N minus 1 all over R minus 1. Why? Because R is greater than 1. Don't forget. So it's equal to what? 3 bracket 2 raised to power uh, sorry the sum of the what term the sum of the first four terms so s4 3 bracket 2 raised to power 4 minus 1 all over 2 minus 1 which is what 3 bracket 16 minus 1 all over 1 which is what 3 bracket 15 which is what 45 so as simple as that the next one number 8 I think number eight. Number eight says uh, the sum of the first five terms of the GP three comma minus six comma twelve comma dot 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 is dash solution. Okay, we need that first term is 3, and R is what? Minus 6 by 3, which is what? Minus 2. So, this is greater than 1. So, since this is greater than 1, sorry, not this. This is less than 1, the R. Since it's less than 1, my SN should be what? A bracket 1 minus R is power N, all over 1 minus R. So, S what? Some of the first 5. S5 is equal to what? Uh, 3 bracket 1 minus minus 2 raised to the power 5 all over 1 minus 2. So what do, sorry, 1 minus minus 2. So what do we have now? We are having 3 bracket 1 
one minus uh, minus will remain because this is a uh, odd number minus what? Think 32 all over 3 because minus minus is plus 1 plus 2 is 3 so 3 can take care of 3 so I'm left with 1 plus 32 which is what? 33 as my answer number 8 so number 9 now Number nine. Number nine said the first and the fourth, the first and fourth terms of the GP. First and fourth term of the GP are minus three and twenty-four, respectively. Okay. They say find the sum of the first four terms. Find the sum of the first four terms. Okay, solution. Uh, the first term is minus 3, and the fourth term, T4, is what? A R raised to power 3 is equal to 24. So let us do the mass. To do the mass, I'm having a minus 3, R raised to power 3 is equal to 24. R raised power 3 is equal to what? 24 divided by minus 3. R raised power 3 is equal to, I think, uh, minus 8. So R raised power 3 is equal to minus 2 raised power 3. R raised power 3 is equal to what? Um, minus 2. Okay? So R is minus 2. And minus 2 is less than 1. So since minus 2 is less than 1, I'm going to have... Since minus 2 is less than 1, I hope you understood what I did here. From this formula, my a is minus 3. So put your a to be minus 3 so that it will help you to get your r. Once you get your r, you have that sn is what? r uh, is less than 1. So 1 comes first. a bracket 1 minus r raised power n all over what? 1 minus r. So what do I have? I'm having, um, okay, minus 3 bracket 1 minus minus 2. This is fourth terms. Yeah, sum of the fourth term, raised to power four, all over one minus minus two. So what do I have? Minus three, bracket one, minus, here will give me 16, all over what? Three. So I'm having minus three, bracket minus 15, which is what? 45. So I'm going to solve the last question, number 10. So in the next video, because of time, which is tomorrow, we'll solve the last 10 questions. So number 10, number 10 is, um, what I said, find the common ratio. Find the common ratio of the GP log 2, comma, log 3 comma sorry log 4 comma log 6 log 16 comma dot 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 okay so what do we do common ratio is simply if the second term divided by what this is it not aha uh -huh. so what do we do which is still the same thing as saying log 16 divided by log 4. Anyone you like. But let me use this one. So my r is equal to what? Log. Uh, remember in log with them, this is base 10, this is base 10. So they brought in base 10. I want to remove it. I'll have 4 base 2. I have removed the 10 they brought in because, because log m base n. If I don't like this n, I want to bring in another base. It will be what? Log m the one up base x that I brought in all over log n down base the same x so if you want to remove the base x it will be log m over n which is what i did here so what do i have r is equal to log uh, 2 raised power 2 base 2 2 can go to the back so i'm having 2 times log 2 base 2 and log 2 base 2 is 1 so which is 2 times 1 which is 2 okay if you don't understand the log video you can go to my video on log video and watch it thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe. Bye-bye.